All right, hello everyone, and welcome to episode two of Past and Present Safari. Uh, this is going to be my first contribution to the series. Uh, the first episode was done by Animal Genius, and there will be a link to his channel in the description. Um, he did a he built an entrance, and he had at an exhibit for um, dodos and guinea fowl, um, which was pretty awesome. And I'll, at the end of this episode, I'll do a little tour so you can see it um, if you haven't already watched his episode, which of course you should definitely do. Um, that way you can see the, how the zoo was built uh, in its entirety. But in this episode, I'm kind of keeping with a similar theme for of birds, and I added a couple of exhibits. Um, the one on the right here, which I'm working on right now, is the uh, terror bird exhibit. Uh, Brazilian terror birds. I also was going to add, um, well, I did add secretary birds uh, as per request, but um, as soon as I unpaused the game, the terror birds actually killed the secretary birds, so uh, that didn't really work out, so sorry about that. Um, but the other exhibit, uh, as you'll see in a second, is going to be a multi species exhibit, um, which did turn out, which that's cool. But yeah, like I said, I'm definitely going to uh, um, have a link uh, to the first episode, or the link to Animal Genius's channel um, in the description. You guys definitely go check his channel out. Uh, and in addition to this series that we're working on together, he also has a ton of other uh, Zoo Tycoon and other content as well, like Spore and some Minecraft. So if that sounds like something you're into, you should definitely go check out his channel. Um, in this uh, series right now, I'm I've no noticed it was a, a bit of a challenge for me, as you'll probably see, um, I'm uh, sort of sifting through things more than I normally do. Uh, it's because I'm using all uh, Animal Genius's mods, um, just so we'd have the same mods, uh, so the zoos would match up, the save file and everything. And it was taking me a little bit longer to uh, find things and using a lot of uh, different mods that I haven't used before. Uh, which is cool though, you know, I like doing that, it gives me a chance to try out new things. He also has a lot more mods than I'm accustomed to, I usually have about two to 300 mods in my game. Uh, he has considerably more than that, so definitely a lot more options as well to choose from, which is cool. Um, this right here I'm building right now is just basically a little centerpiece uh, between the two exhibits. Uh, just terror bird statues. Um, on a little raised platform. I wanted to make it raised there so it really stands out. So the first thing you see when you come around the corner. And here I'm working on the second exhibit, which as you see is going to be some elephant birds uh, along with some ostriches. thought that'd be a pretty um, good combination. Definitely two birds. I don't have to worry about them killing each other, which is nice. So that's what I did for the second exhibit. And I wanted to go for a little bit more of a wetlands theme just because the uh, elephant birds are wetlands animals. Uh, but still trying to keep it similar uh, to the other exhibit. So there's so it looks like there's some, uh, uh, what do you call it? Form uniformity or however you say that, you know what I mean? Uh, so that's what I did there. Again, definitely a lot of different mods that I'm not uh, accustomed to using, which is actually uh, pretty cool. So I just did two, uh, two uh, elephant birds and two ostriches, and I put the two terror birds in the other exhibit. And there were two uh, secretary birds, but, you know, RIP there. <clears throat> I use a lot of those, I don't even remember what I call them. So there's something grass, the grass that has like those feathery white tops. Use a lot of that. It's a really good mod. Um, I think it's a mod. Yeah, it's not the base game. That's really good. It's because it's generally pretty low resolution um, from far away, but up close it looks pretty good. And it's really great for a background. Here I'm doing just a little walkthrough so you can see both what Animal Genius did in this awesome uh, entranceway and his exhibit here. Um, and then you'll see the stuff I did as well. Uh, one thing I will say, Animal Genius, is when you're watching this video, is I noticed all your uh, guinea fowl were really thirsty. I'm not sure if they can drink out of the, uh, what do you call it, the water trough you have here. But uh, I didn't change anything just because I didn't I don't really like messing with other people's exhibits. Uh, but if that's uh, something you might want to think about <laughs> on your part when you, uh, when you do episode 3, maybe put some little water dishes in there or something. But yeah, 
getting close to the end of this episode here. I decided to do it a little bit differently than I normally do. Uh, during the construction part of it, I sped it up more than normal. And then I did this walk, walk through basically at regular uh, speed and just did a post commentary rather than live commentary uh, or like a montage type thing with like music playing. Or I guess that wouldn't be a montage, like a speed build, whatever you want to call it. So I'm not sure if I'll, I think I'll probably keep doing it this way. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments whether you like it this way or you'd rather me do it differently. I don't think I'd be doing live commentary for this, uh, just because would, the episodes would be way too long. Um, I'd have to cut them down a ton, and it, it wouldn't be worth it in my opinion. So I don't don't expect live commentary, but I might. if you guys don't even want commentary, I can go without. But yeah, this is going to be the end of the episode here. So uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out Animal Geniuses channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.